Cześć, witajcie, z tej strony Hubianko, to jest kolejny odcinek z The Walking Dead, Season 2, Episode 2, czyli sezon drugi, oczywiście, epizod drugi. I kontynuujemy w tym samym etapie, co poprzednio, czyli właśnie schodzimy tutaj po schodach, ponieważ zauważyliśmy kogoś, kogoś tajemniczego. Możliwe, że to look, ale nie wiemy do końca kto. Może być to jakaś sytuacja niebezpieczna, ale może być to też przyjazna osoba. Co jeszcze jest, że to tak nie będzie do końca... Um, Jakbyśmy chcieli, że to będzie jeden z nas. Zobaczmy sami. Może czy ktoś tam idzie? Zobaczmy. That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. What? Why can't he see you? No. Wiedziałem. I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Ah, it's one Reese. Hello there. Hello? How are you? Okay. How are you? Well, I'm doing just fine. Thank you. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Clementine. Clementine? Well, you look just like a Clementine. You mind if I come in, Clementine? I've been out all morning and this heat has got me cooked. Yes, I do mind. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Sure could pack a lot of folks in there. We have a big group. Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. They must trust you. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. I saw them. They're dead. You saw who? Where? Down by the river the other day. Walkers got them. I'm sorry. <laughs> the river? You sure about that? Pretty sure. Well, no offense, but I guess that wasn't them. Because the ones I'm looking for are very careful people. If you say so. That looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like close to ten people with you. More. Hmm. Just passing through, or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Now I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Hell, I just got here, and I already don't want to leave. Where do you live? Yeah, down by the river there. There's a sweet little spot with a boat where we pitch camp. Got a few tents up and everything else. And like I said, I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. Do you have a dog? No, I don't. What difference does it make? Just wondering. No, po prostu mnie nurtuje, że ten nóż wziąć, ale. Where does this go? In the drawer there. I will grant. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. No, I still need to No. 
I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves Slash away in. from checkmate. What was that? Yeah. Switch up talk about easier. I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind. No, nicely. Co on w ogóle kogo on dokładnie szuka, nie? Uff. Masakra. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. Yeah. You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Maybe you should put on. Well, wait, who are you? You have a real good day now. Whoa. To było straszne. Tak przyszedł nagle. He's gone. What if he comes back? Teraz wytłumaczy nam, kto to był dokładnie, bo. Ach, dobra. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. You were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. I thought you opened the door. Jesus. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. I didn't ask his name. You didn't ask his name? How could you not ask his name? He had a gun. I didn't want to make him mad. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Uh, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy, or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? He was scouting. We got lucky. 
He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Where are we going? Anywhere but here. Into the mountains, maybe. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. I mean, it's just kind of we there. gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. Alright. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. No, nie źle, więc co jednak nie było w takie wcale. To nie była jakaś miła osoba. Nie była tutaj mile widziana. Said it was just up here. Yeah, just a little ways. Hey Clem, sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. You and Alvin can probably relate. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? What's up? There. That's where we were. Nick! Coś czuję, że się przemieni. Get the door. Pusto wszędzie. Tak jak było, przynajmniej. Brak śladu. Może żyje. Ale na pewno jest pijany. Jesus. Hey man. You got any aspirin? Nick, you asshole. <laughs> oh. Pete's dead. I know, man, I do. We gotta get moving. Okay, Carver's gang showed up. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go. Oh, dobra, czyli nie żyje. Chociaż jakieś powodzenie tutaj. Hey, Clem. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for not giving up on me. Next time you should listen to me. I'm sorry. Musimy mu dać do zrozumienia, nie? Kilka rzeczy. Co tak? What happened back there in that cellar? He do something stupid? Like he can tell me. I'm just looking out for him. He wanted to die. Well, it's not the first time he's been like that, but Pete was his last anchor. I'm worried about that kid. Well, keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look. I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? 
It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. A więc duka, wędrówka nas czeka. Pięć dni. A ten na końcu jak zombie jak jakiś idzie. Uff, dobra, jakieś teraz będą nas kiepskie sytuacje czekały coś czuję. Pięć dni później, świetnie, okej, okay, dobra. Ogólnie moi drodzy, w dzisiejszym odcinku było na tyle. Ja się z wami żegnam. To co się stanie po tych pięciu dniach, czyli właśnie teraz, dowiecie się w kolejnym odcinku. A w dzisiejszym to było na tyle. Żegnam się z wami. Cześć. Thank you.